Well, we did it. We got the spinnaker up. It's not easy. Capitaine, il est en forme. That was work. Thank goodness Natasha was here to help me. She hoisted it. It was getting tangled around the uh, Genoa furler. And I was able to keep it nice and taut while she was hoisting it. And I'm really glad she was here for that. Once it was up, it got a little bit tangled. It took me about three times to do it. I had to bring it back down. And I know I keep saying I'm going to film it someday, but tough shit, I'm not. Most important thing is to do it, not to film doing it. Now look at the fucking result, man. It's amazing. And here we are in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, about halfway between the Canary Islands and Cape Verde. And the wind conditions are absolutely spectacular. And it's much smoother riding and much smoother sailing. With the spinnaker, it seems to lift the bow up so that the roly-poly effect is diminished. So now it seems like it's lifted up, you know? So it's really cool. Tasha's thrilled. Total freedom, man. This is it. And here there is absolutely no one in sight. No pollution. No noise except the water. Amazing. Once trimmed, the speed was maintenance free, and I cooked some of the leftover tuna with mango and rice. I craved some sweet and sour. Natasha wasn't so keen. We put away the spinnaker for the night with some difficulty. The sock would not come down, so now the spinnaker is just stuffed in the front cabin. I'll untangle it in the morning. During the night, on my watch, I'd make some coffee or tea, which was always a bit of a challenge. Then I got a look at the weather. Now it's not the current conditions, but the forecast from Sunday night, three days ago. It is pretty accurate for now. As I said before, it's simply a video screen grab of the windy forecast. And it works. I had another issue. The battery voltage meter was indicating current voltage just under 12 volts. No big deal, but something to keep an eye on. My watch was usually early morning till dawn. In the evening, the wind would die down a few knots, but we kept near the five knot speed. And then, the sun makes his appearance. Well, I'm bored and fully awake. Time to take care of the spinnaker problem. As I mentioned, it was a big orange blob of nylon stuffed in a forward cabin. I stretched it out to the end of the cockpit and pulled the sock back on. You have no idea how great it is not to feel nauseous inside, because the boat kept on rolling and it was hot inside. The thing is so big, I had to put a bend in it to extend the bottom end to the front cabin and stuff it back into the sock. And then fold it properly, so it's ready for the next outing. During the night, I set up the sails thusly. So this is my downwind rigging. 
Uh, when I'm not using the spinnaker. I use the spinnaker pole for the Genoa, furl it up a bit so it doesn't uh, flop around too much. I have the mainsail hoisted with just one reef, you never know, just in case. And I've tied it up with the boom brake here to this cleat and then a line from the end of the boom to this cleat here to keep it from flopping around also because the waves are doing that. The wind is nice and steady downwind and we're making a straight heading to uh, Mindelo now. I've been zigzagging a little bit, adjusting to the wind and it's really settled now. It's about 12 knots steady. It's a little stronger during the day and the waves are mellow. Every once in a while there's one that shakes us around. And we're doing really well. Entering our fourth day. potato gnocchi lathered in a curry tinged cream sauce and parmesan flaked all over it. and some sleep, only to wake up to this. Halfway there. All right, we're taking on the spinnaker again. First, I gotta clip the top of it to the halyard shackle so Natasha can hoist it while I keep it from tangling. Then, I gotta pass the port sheet outside the furler and through the spinnaker boom. Then, clip the starboard sheet, making sure it's outside everything. Now the magic comes as I raise the sock. The spinnaker balloons, but not quite. It's tangled at the very top, and I can't bring the sock back down or pull it further up. It will have to do. I put the boom in place, and we see how it looks.
Not bad. We're doing about four to five knots with six to eight knots wind. Could be better. And I'm annoyed that it's tangled at the top. I'll fix it when we take it down tonight. didn't wait until these clouds cut up before taking a spinnaker down. I put the sails back in scissor formation for the night, and as well, I turned the motor on a couple hours to give the batteries a boost, and the wind had died down somewhat. We had not had much sun and it was getting dark. The autopilot had been on most of the time, and that with the fridge, we're using up the battery charge. A little more than halfway there, and we still have a long way to go.